I recently ran a Kickstarter campaign for my open world game called Nightstones. It launched like a rocket in day one. But by day three, it was dead in the water. Fortunately, I caught a couple breaks along the way, and Nightstones was ultimately a Kickstarter success. But it was anything but easy. Let's talk about how it all went down. After the first hour of the campaign, Nightstones had raised $5,000. And by the way, I'm American, so all the dollar figures I'm gonna give you are in US dollars. So yeah, $5,000 in the first hour. And the campaign is 30 days long, which is 720 hours. That means Nightstones was on its way to making $3.6 million. So I immediately placed an order for a 70 foot sloop so the fam and I could gallivant on the weekends. But project sales are never linear, they're asymptotic. There is this big bang at the initial release and then growth slows over time. The project had raised $5,000 in its first hour, but by day four, it was only making $13 every hour. And that trajectory to make $3.6 million was now a trajectory to make $18,000. Now $18,000 is a chunk of change and it's a big number, but I had set the project goal to $30,000. And Kickstarter is an all or nothing funding campaign. If you don't reach your goal, in my case $30,000, then it's like the campaign never happened. So when I say the project was on a trajectory to raise $18,000, I was really on a trajectory to raise zero. So I told the kids to go get jobs since their dad had spent their futures on a luxurious yacht we could no longer afford. On day five, I got a massively lucky break. I had put a press kit on the Kickstarter page and Games Radar used that content to run an article about Nightstones. That article allowed the project to reach a new and larger audience and the campaign picked up once again. But by day nine, the growth was once again stale. That day, the campaign had raised $21,000 of its $30,000 goal but it was only on a trajectory to make $23,000. And that meant the campaign was still going to miss its goal, which meant I was really on my way to raising nada, zilch, zero. Do not pass, go, you're out. But then I got one more lucky break. A company called Backer Camp had been monitoring the progress of the project, and they reached out to see if I'd be interested in working with them. Backer Camp is a marketing company, and their job is to drive new products to new audiences. And they are really good at their job. In exchange, they make a small commission for the sales that they drive to the campaign. Under Backer Camp's guidance, I made some changes to the Kickstarter page and the video. Most of the changes were getting game content earlier and seeing less of my ugly face. I had been running some ads to drive traffic to the Kickstarter campaign, and Backer Camp began to show these ads to their audience. And their audience was so much more responsive than mine, which really makes sense since they've worked with over 5,000 Kickstarter campaigns, and I'm just a dude literally making video games and YouTube videos in his bedroom. Now I was able to get sustainable growth and reach the $30,000 goal on the 23rd day of the campaign. The last 72 hours of the campaign also had a nice jump as people sitting on the sidelines came on board to what was already a successful project. In the end, over a thousand amazing people participated in the campaign and it raised just over $36,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for your rad support on this wild ride. I did have some expenses from the campaign. Kickstarter fees were $2,700. I paid Facebook and Google $8,000 in advertising fees. Backer Camp was a bargain with only $500 in commissions, and that left me with $25,000, which is pretty freaking amazing. I put some of that money away for taxes, but the rest is going into making Nightstones bigger and better, and I'm super excited to show you the progress I've made on the game. If you missed the Kickstarter campaign and the opportunity to be an alpha tester, well then, not all is lost. I'll be presenting Nightstones at Steam Next Fest next week, and I've made a free demo of the game available for the event. So if you want to fly in the glider, solve some tricky puzzles, and explore the world of Nightstones, I beg you to wishlist the game on Steam and play the demo. I've left a link in the description. During the Kickstarter campaign, I got the opportunity to talk with a lot of people about the game, what they liked and what they didn't like. And what most people didn't like was the lack of game content. So I've worked hard to create a more interactive experience in the game. You've seen the Nightstone and how the day-night mechanic gives you access to places that were otherwise unreachable, but you haven't seen the mechanics like climbing, fishing, carrying, and stamina. I've also added more enemies to the game. I know I've said since the beginning there is no combat in Nightstones, but more than anything I want the game to be fun. So I've added a very combat-like mechanic to the game with the first enemy you encounter. I call these guys Fangweeds. To get by them, 
you'll need a sharp scythe, which is an item you'll have to acquire outside this cave. But once you have it, you can use it to dispatch fangweeds from the side or the back, but approach them from the front and it's all over, little man. This is not a hack and slash mechanic. You can't bring the scythe out whenever you want. You need to sneak up behind fangweeds where they are vulnerable and only then can you let them have it. I hope these new features make the demo fun and more engaging for you guys. Speaking of fun and engaging, I don't know if you guys have had the chance to check out the other games I've made with the cool dudes over at Blackthorn Productions. I did some level design and haunted house modeling for a driving over zombies game, and since Nightstones has beautiful nature in it, I added a leaf shooting spell to their first person shooter, which is featuring over 100 devs. That's crazy! I've loved working with these guys, and I really appreciate what they've done to help me grow my audience and a bigger audience gets me more Steam wishlist, which is the thing I need most right now. If you're looking to get into game dev or upping your game dev skills and want to learn from dudes that are way cooler than me, then please check out their game dev rocket course. The introductory courses are completely free. I've left a link in the description if you want to check it out. The demo that you can play now has been battle tested by the amazing alpha testers. The first alpha of the game was released a little over a month ago, and I had super high hopes for it to be fun, robust, and bug free. But here's what really happened. Ah, oh, ultra widescreen. Yeah, I didn't even think about this. This is uh, I showing my mobile experience here. On mobile phones, I always fill up all the screen, but here like a massively wide ultra widescreen. I'm showing all this stuff I shouldn't be showing. <laughs> all right, so this guy's right behind a faint. Oh, no, don't jump over. Ah, this is bad. I haven't, I haven't finished that. <laughs> and, but now he's going to stay dead. Watch this, because I haven't put in death. I, yeah, you're not supposed to be able to go. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't put in any of this because I didn't think Aimwin would get here. So this is, yeah, these are, this is a problem. So people are saying they can get to the Nightstone. Ah, uh, see, I put in this climbing guy and I didn't think about that you could climb on top of people and then get to places you don't want to go. I don't see, I mean, I don't want him to get up there, but how? But because these alphas are smart, see right there. Uh, I mean, that's on me. I should fix that world building. I didn't always oh, go in a different way this time. Oh, now he's going to go get the other. <laughs> I like these guys. I, this is amazing. So watch this. Now he's in this area. So he's, he's behind this keyed area. You're supposed to use a key to get in there. You see the lock on it. Oh, look at me. I'm so fancy. I got to the nightstone. All right, I'll fix it. That's a good one. Good job. All right, this guy put a crate on the, next to this house here. Oh, dude, why did I never think to pick up a crate while I'm standing on it? Oh, I love alpha testers. How do you guys think of all this stuff? Yeah, I read it and it, he said he could swim up a waterfall. I always think these guys are like lying because I'm like, there's no way you can swim up a waterfall, but there he goes. I have no idea how that's happening. All right, let's go fix that. Be sure to play the Nightstones demo and I hope I've earned a subscribe from you. I look forward to seeing you in the next devlog. Thanks for watching.